Hey everyone, this is Steli FT with Close.io and in today's video I'm going to share three simple secrets and tips on how to make your emails stand out and increase dramatically the response rates you're getting for your sales emails. All right, what are these three simple ways? We'll start with one. The first thing is your signature. This is one of the most underrated, you know, pieces of content within your sales emails and most people don't really think about how to make the signature stand out and how to make the signature also sell. Make the signature something that adds to the credibility of your email, adds to the you know, power of the message that you're trying to convey and makes people snap into action. They just put in their title, their email, maybe the old fax number, right? People are pretty thoughtless when it comes to their signature. Some people love to add logos, you know, big logo of your brand or anything like that. But think about the signature as very valuable real estate that you can use to increase your credibility. So how would you do that? Well, add a piece of information that adds credibility. Maybe in your signature, you know, you put, um, you know, the, the latest webinar that your company has given or the latest press article that your company has been mentioned in. Uh, in my case, there's even a blog post out there and we'll find that somewhere and put a link to it in this video. Somebody wrote a whole blog post on how my signature is amazing and how they copied that for their own emails because my signature I sell. I pitch my book, I pitch my podcast, I pitch that we're hiring and I pitch, you know, the email course. Like I sell a ton. One cool little thing is that in Gmail, as one email client that's pretty popular today, when you include a video link, especially a YouTube video link, it actually gives the person that receives the email a little preview of the video thumbnail. It's a pretty activating thing and a lot of people click on that little thumbnail of me like on stage in dramatic posture and watch a little bit of my talk and that gives tremendous credibility. Many people actually send me emails and say that after receiving an email from me about something completely unrelated, they went on to watch a 45 minute talk of me and it touched them, it influenced that, them, it inspired them and it made them reply and thank me for that talk and then respond to whatever I asked them to in the email originally. So think of your email signature as valuable real estate. Please don't include your email in your email signature. I just think that's stupid, right? I already got your email. Um, and uh, be clever about not just using it to add tons of titles and department heads and a big logo, all that. Like, what is that selling? What is that communicating to me? Not that much, but think about things that really add credibility case studies, press, books, talks, webinars, anything and everything that really raises the credibility of who you are, you know, not just where you work and how to get in touch with you. So the email signature can be an amazing place to sell and to make you stand out from other emails. The second place is the PS line at the end of the email. This is actually a pretty kind of black belt trick. Many people in the right sales email they don't think about adding a PS at the end of the email at all. If you do, there's studies out there that show that people, when they screen through emails and there is a PS line, they will actually jump right to the PS and read it first. So if you know about that, you can make very effective use of it. You can add a PS that adds a little bit of information that needs to be compelling. It needs to be powerful. It needs to be something that adds tons of credibility. It could be PS, not sure if you're aware that we just closed our 10,000th customer. Here's a little article about it. Or PS, you know, whatever it is, uh, you know, we have a connection, with a common connection, we both work with this person um, and he said great things about you. Whatever it is, you can put something in PS that's not apparently super important to be part of the main email, but still is powerful, especially if you want to add credibility again, having a powerful PS and using the PS at the end of the email is something that you are aware of will draw people in first and they'll might skip your main message and go there immediately can be a very, very powerful and very cool tool. And I don't see too many, you know, people out there that send lots and lots of sales emails make use of the power of PS. The third thing, is more a general sales email hygiene thing, but still it's incredible and breaks my heart to see how many people break this rule. Most of your emails should be short, right? I'm a huge fan of keeping things tight, keeping things simple, 
editing it down to the core message, especially in the first time that you communicate with me, you want to be respectful of my time. You want to be respectful of your time. You want to keep things short. But if you have an email at any point in time in the email conversation where you need more content and there's good reasons for it, make sure to format the fuck out of your content. Make sure to really take use of formatting when you send slightly longer emails. Headlines, bold, underlining, you know, uh, bullet points, numbers. These things help people screen through the information much faster and get to what they really need. It helps them to screen for information and slow down at areas where they want to get more information from. It just makes it easier for the eye, eyes to parse all the information and get out of it what the reader really wants. And it shows that you have an idea and a sensitivity for respecting the reader's time and making it easier for the person that's reading it to make sense out of all your content. Imagine an email that's 10 page long. It's just all one blurb of text. It's unreadable, right? So just because it's an email doesn't mean you can't make use of good editing and good formatting just like you would if it was a magazine or a blog post or any other web page, right? Formatting is king and can make a big difference in the way that people read your content and perceive it. Oftentimes I get people that send me advice, that send me an email asking me for advice and they say, you know what? I read a ton about the stuff that you teach on emails. I know you don't like sh long email, but I need to give you all this context. But to make this easier for you, Steli, I spend a lot of time formatting uh, this email so you can pick and choose what you want to read. And I highly appreciate that. And those are the emails that I will read. So again, summarizing three unusual places where you can stand out and ways to make your sales emails even better, more effective and get more responses. Take advantage of your signature and make it really work. Take advantage of the PS line in an email and experiment with it and make sure to really format your emails and make it easy for the eyes of the reader. I hope this was useful. I want to hear your thoughts below. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more information like this. We publish tons and tons of great content around sales emails, how to perfect the art of emailing people, how to become a black belt in email, and make sure to go to blog.close.io and subscribe to our blog. Looking forward to see you in the next video very soon.